Hey guys, so I'm just editing this video now and before I start this video, I just wanted to tell you guys that I'm going to do a Tiffany's Tell All video on this Friday coming. So if you have any questions about the house up until this point, please let me know in the comments below or on my Instagram or Facebook and I will definitely answer them. I'll do kind of like a q and A, I I guess, uh, catch up, tell all. So when you're done watching this video, go in the comments and let me know all your questions and I'll be sure to answer them. Thanks so much for watching. See you in a second. Hey guys, so today I'm here to talk about our window order and we finally gotten to the point in our build where we've had our framing inspection and it's all good and we were able to order our windows. So all of our windows openings are good. Our building inspector actually didn't even like look at the headers he just looked in and automatically knew they were good so that is awesome and we have been working with our home depot guy for the last couple months on getting our windows ordered and also dealing with like the window rep himself so we went with the jeldwin contractor series windows we didn't want to spend a lot on windows because one, windows are expensive and two, now that baby girls is gone, we don't know how long we will be here, but we still wanted something that we like and that is functional and up to code. So we went with the Gelbin contractor series, but with a few tweaks. So on the outside of our windows, we will be having a three and a quarter brick mold trim and having a nail fin with it so basically that what that means is that there will be a three and a quarter inch trim around the window on the outside of the building with the nail fin that is just you're able to screw in so if you saw my house tour video you'll see that we have the uh, deck boards around and that is so that you can screw in your windows to that and have a really sturdy base so that three and a quarter inch brick mold will be in the color claystone which is also the same color as all of our trim like external trim around the edges of the building and our eaves trough and all of that now in the siding color it's called brownstone but in the window trim it's called claystone <laughs> so there's kind of the same name but i basically just took the two and matched them up uh, as close as i could to get the same color so that is what we're going with and then on the inside they will be white uh, vinyl with the pine boxes so that I can stain them or paint them whatever I decide to do. So we ordered I think it was like 24 windows total. We have four of the kids bedrooms windows so they are 42 by 42 inch and we have four of those. In both bathrooms, we have a four by five window, a four feet by five feet window above where both of the tubs were supposed to go, as well as in both of the bathrooms, they will have a 36 by 36 inch window in there as well. And then my office windows back there, we were going to do a 24 by 60 inch window, three of them all in a row. However, when we decided to go with the three and a quarter brick mold, we realized there wasn't enough space to achieve that anymore. So what we did was we opened it up completely, took out the mullion studs in the middle and made it one big window, but they are gonna put the mullions in the middle of the window. I'll show you that quickly. So this window here is now one big window, but it'll look like three windows. Whereas before we had studs there and studs there to make three separate little windows. So then over our staircase, we actually made our staircase window bigger because we took out our walk-in closet window. So what we did was we originally had a four by five window there. Um, just five feet high instead of four feet high and what we did was we actually made it four feet by 80 inches and it basically looks like a doorway but I really wanted a lot of light to come in there to flood downstairs um, also you'll see in my very empty house tour that 
our staircase is gonna be open so all that light will come pouring into the basement hopefully anyways but yeah we wanted to have that window really big and then along the back of the house we will have seven 30 by 60 inch windows two in the living room three in the dining room and two in our master bedroom and then in the living room and in our master bedroom, we will have two sliding glass doors and those are 72 by 80 inch doors. We wanted to go with French doors, but for some reason with the contractor series, you can't get the French doors in a 70, 72 by 80. It's called a retrofit and they're custom order, which kind of sucks and you, yeah, it changes everything. So we just went with the sliding glass door once again. We didn't want to spend that much money on them. Uh, he said that it would have went up by like 40% or something. So we decided to just go with the sliding glass doors over the French doors. Just to make it easy, simple, we didn't want to have to move headers and all of that. And then in the living room, as you know, in our cathedral, we have our three curved windows. And those, I'm actually so shocked, we can do those curved windows. They were very inexpensive, but the only downfall is that you can't get the trim around it. So we have to kind of make our own trim, which means I have to find a paint that will match the color. But that's no big deal it's just kind of a pain in the butt that we have to make our trim ourselves uh, especially when all the other windows can uh, come with it but i guess because it's a custom window with custom curve we can't do it so so that is those windows there and you can see here that they're just square boxes right now but they will actually be curved windows so that is where we are at with our windows our window rep said that It'll take four to six weeks and we've heard through the grapevine that they had a hard time finding glass or getting glass because everybody shut down for COVID and they stopped making it. So then they had to catch up on orders. So we'll see, hopefully it's still four to six weeks. And I ordered them, I wanna say like three weeks ago now, hopefully maybe even four weeks ago. So they should be here soon and as soon as they come, we get to put it in our windows, which I'm so excited for um, because it'll dry in the space completely. We won't have to worry about wind or rain or snow this year. <laughs> so that's exciting. So I wanted to kind of talk about cost for our whole window order. We are only spending $13,000 and change. I originally priced out my windows to be like $8,000 but that was just like the lowest of the low, already pre-made windows from Home Depot without the window trim and everything else. And also I believe less windows or at least a lot smaller windows. So I'm super happy with that price. I mean, windows can go up to, you know, $30,000, $40,000, depending on where you go. But once again, we didn't want to spend that much money. We just wanted to make sure that they were up to code and which obviously they are. So that is awesome. And I can't wait for them to get here. Although it is nerve wracking to have $13,000 worth of windows sitting here. And yeah, so sorry I sound stuffy. I'm sick still and it just sucks. Uh, no, it's not COVID, but it's just a cold and really annoying. So yeah, that is our windows. Hopefully I didn't miss anything. Um, we didn't, oh, I did miss something. Our front door. We originally planned on doing a 36 inch front door with two eight inch side lights. Now we changed that because obviously we don't have baby girls. We went down to a 34 inch door with two eight inch side lights. And I showed in my house tour that we opened that up completely. And we're gonna be framing that in uh, completely ourselves because they wanted like $2,500 for a pre-made front door. So with this way, I only spent, I think it was like 1,200. So, but we have a lot of work to do with that. I haven't actually decided what color I'm going to go with yet. I don't know whether to match it to the window trim or to match it with the siding color or do like a totally different color. So I did just get it primed in the store. I really like their, it's just like a wood colored stain door but yeah i don't know what to do with that yet so that is on order as well which will hopefully be here in four to six weeks as well i ordered that two days after 
I did my winter order, so they should only be here within days apart. And that's with, who was that? Oh, that was with Masonite. Masonite. Um, I originally got the Doorplex window booklet from Home Depot and they couldn't sell me the side lights by themselves. Whereas Masonite, I could order them by themselves and they are pretty much interchangeable. Like you can't tell the windows from Dorplex versus Masonite. They're very similar styles. Obviously you can tell like a little bit of difference if you were to put them side by side, but like once again, they're pretty much the same thing. So uh, hopefully that's it now. <laughs> uh, I don't remember anything else. Let me look around quickly. No, I think that is it. So yeah, that is all about our windows. But hopefully they will be here soon. Obviously I will be vlogging when they get here. I am so excited to see them and see them in. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, hit that bell notification so that you get my videos as soon as they come out, and we will see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye guys.